Suspicious activity alerts are commonplace security now, whether from your bank or other types of online accounts. Intune now has our own version called enrollment notifications, giving administrators ability to send email or push notifications to end users on new enrollments as an additional security check to keep their resources safe. So from the Intune portal, I will go to devices. From there, I'll go to enroll devices. And you'll see here under Windows enrollment, we have the enrollment notifications preview card. This feature is also available for Apple and Android user-driven enrollments. Clicking into the enrollment notifications card, we'll be able to now create notifications. Example of how I would create a Windows notification would be, let's say I'm an employee at my company. I currently have my personal Apple phone enrolled to access email and the company portal app. For testing, I've decided to enroll a new Windows virtual machine. My company has configured both email and push notifications for Windows. So I'll receive both on my Apple device in my mail app, as well as my company portal app, letting me know a Windows virtual machine is using my credentials. So from here, let's go ahead and create that notification. In the basics tab, we'll have to create a name and description for this notification. Let's call this new enrollments with the description. From there, we'll be able to actually turn on either push or email notifications or both. In this case, I'm going to send both push and email because I want to have as many notifications as possible being sent to the end user for security. So for push, I'll turn this on and you'll see I'll be able to add a subject and message. In this case, my subject is new enrollment. Please verify. And my message will be our system indicates that you recently enrolled a new device. If this was you, please ignore this message. If this was not you, please report this. From there, I will also go turn on my email notification. I'll do the same subject and message. But one thing to note is that administrators have way more flexibility and customization when it comes to email notification. This allows for companies to add their own branding, as well as to make their mail as fish-proof as possible so that users know that they should be able to use this notification to actually report and that they shouldn't be confused by the message they're getting. What's nice is we have this raw HTML editor with the following parameters that one can use to send a very nice looking email. So here I'll add the same message I had above. You'll see with the HTML editor on, the link that I'm asking them to use to report is active. Below, you'll see be able to configure both an email header as well as email footer with branding that's in your customization settings. So I can choose to turn on my company logo. I can choose to send device details, which I'll turn this on as I'd like this to be the mail for an end user to verify against. I can choose to show a company name, contact information, as well as to show the company portal website link, which I'll also turn on for them to further use to verify. From there, I'll click next. Scope tags, I will leave as default. And then assignments, I will add a group. In this case, new enrollment. And from there, I can actually add a filter. We have filtering for increased targeting available for Windows and Apple for this feature. From there, we'll go to the final step, which is to review and create. One last chance to look over what we created, which we have both push and email notifications on. I'm sending device details. I'm sending the company portal link, and I'm assigned to the correct group that I wanted to assign to. So for them, from there, I'll go ahead and create this notification. successfully created. I will also note here is that we introduced priority to help with conflict resolution. So as this new email and push notification I created is for me of number one priority, I want to make sure that it's sent first over any other 
the notifications, I will move it to the top, which we'll see was successfully saved. On refresh, it is now number one. So that's how we create an enrollment notification in Intune for both email and push. Thank you.